All right, today I want to talk about the composed path method that belongs to event objects. So we've got DOM events like click and mouse over and so on. And we're using these to interact with elements of the DOM, so bits and pieces of your HTML. Here we've got the source for this part. You can see there's a main element, there's three paragraphs. If I open that up, we can see inside of here there's a span, inside the span there's an anchor tag. And as you select these, the dev tools are going to give you this path right here telling you this is the path from the HTML element all the way down through to the anchor tag. And that's great. Makes it easy for me to tell what the path is if I wanted to edit some CSS or something. But there's going to be times where in JavaScript you want to do the same thing. You want to know what this path is. So there is one method, the composed path method, that's going to give that to us. So let's switch this over to the console. We'll jump into the code here. Here's my page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a click listener to every single tag, everything that's inside of main. So in my DOM content loaded event, we'll do query selector all main space asterisk. This is going to give me every single tag that is inside of main. So we're going to do a for each loop through that. We're going to call this method here. Tag will represent each one of these guys. And we'll say tag add event listener and then for each one of them we're going to add a click listener and here's our function right here so the EV that is my event my click event and because we've got one or more anchor tags inside of here I don't want the page to reload or anything so I'm gonna add EV prevent default this is just to stop the anchor Now, the other thing I want to do is, when you have a click event, let's say for example I clicked on this anchor tag, the click event is going to travel from the anchor to the span to the paragraph and so on up the chain. I don't want my click on the anchor tag to trigger the function to run for the span and the paragraph. I don't want to get a whole bunch of output. So to stop that running, we're going to use ev um, stop propagation. There we go. So that stops the click function from firing every way up, every step along the way up. Then I'm just going to write out what the tag is. So ev.target, that is the tag that we just clicked on. Tag name gives me the actual tag name in all caps. So we'll console log that out. And then we're going to use our method. So ev. Composed path. This is going to give me the array that has everything that I want. So we click on the mark tag here. There it is. That's the tag that I clicked on. And there's eight elements inside of here in the order where you would move from the mark to the span that it's inside, to the paragraph, to the main, to the body, the HTML, and then the document itself, and then the window object. So that full path, everything that we would want. And this works for anything here. So there's the paragraph, there's the quote element, here's the anchor, which was inside the span inside the paragraph. And that's it. That is the composed path method. Very handy, gives you back an array that you can use to interact with any of the parents anyway along the chain up to the top of the document. Hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those down below. And as always, thanks for watching.